There is no doubt that education, the medical system, the, our industries, everything's being regulated, taken over, shut down. They've used the third world labor to shut down industry. Everything is about creating a monopoly. The government wants to wreck society so they can consolidate it, just like Mao and Lenin with their great leap forwards. This is a system of control. Order out of chaos. Dr. Russell Blaylock's uh, our guest. I was giving out his, the Newsmax.com newsletter that they have with Dr. Blaylock. His main site, the one to get the books, the videos, all the great materials, is RussellBlaylockMD.com. RussellBlaylockMD.com, or just Google the name Russell Blaylock. But you can find his writings and the materials all right there on the site. I do want to encourage everybody to also visit our online video bookstore, get our books and videos and T-shirts and materials, not just because they're great materials and wake people up when you share them, but because it also supports what we're doing here overall. This operation costs a lot of money to run, and we also bring in all these guests who we then in turn support. This show is a huge platform for getting the truth out, and I feel really good having doctors and scientists and neurologists on and virologists to tell you about the vaccines, the food, the GMO, all of it. Uh, because uh, this is eugenics. This is real. This is what the elite are doing to us. Uh, let's go ahead and take some more calls. Mike in Missouri, you're on the air with Dr. Blaylock. Go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, Alex and uh, Dr. Blaylock. Uh, uh, about a few years ago, I had a, an accident, and I became disabled. I've got a spinal injury. Uh, I'm in the managed care system uh, here in St. Louis, and I go to the to the uh, to the med uh, to the medical school here. Uh, I've been uh, taking the uh, the vaccinations uh, that they give every year. I guess uh, it's been seven or eight years now. I've developed uh, uh, arthritis, and I never had psoriasis before. And my uh, my question is. Uh, is psoriasis, uh, could, could that have come from the, uh, the, uh, the immunization that I've been getting? Well, it's possible because it is an autoimmune disease, but psoriasis is associated with uh, arthritis. Uh, there is a, a rheumatoid uh, arthritis syndrome associated with psoriasis. Now, whether or not you just spontaneously develop psoriasis or the vaccine, it's hard to tell, but it is an autoimmune disease, and we're seeing a lot of psoriasis now. Like I said, all of the autoimmune diseases are increasing astronomically. Can I just add, sir, that if you'll search engine vaccines arthritis, this is not Dr. Blaylock or my opinion. They know in all the studies with rodents, they get it. I mean, you know, baby mice and rats get it. And you're having an autoimmune response in your joints. It, it, uh, this is a more important question. Doctor, what can he do to detox and to, he's got his immune system all cranked up. Uh, what can he do before he gets diabetes, before he gets real brain damage, before, I mean, I mean, is there something he can do to detox or to get the swelling down? Well, I can't give specific advice uh, over the program, but just in general, what you want to do is if you're having an autoimmune reaction, you want to increase your omega-3 uh, oil intake. There's a Norwegian oil uh, that you can uh, get that has a uh, balance of the EPA, DHA components that reduces this autoimmune reaction. Works very well for a lot of autoimmune diseases. You just take a teaspoon a day, uh, every day. Um, but uh, vitamin D3 is the most important. It is an immune modulator. Uh, it prevents uh, overreactivity of the immune system. And there's good evidence that people who have rheumatoid arthritis or, or lupus or these other diseases uh, have a deficiency in vitamin D3. You may have heard about multiple sclerosis and the connection to sun exposure. Uh, you can take vitamin D3 in a dose of uh, uh, 2,000 to 5,000 units a day, and that can significantly reduce uh, many of these autoimmune diseases. And I, that's uh, a good way to prevent the, the flu. Uh, from causing bad injury to you because when you take vitamin D3, it stimulates the body to produce what's called antimicrobial peptides, and they are very powerful at killing viruses, bacteria, fungi. And there's evidence that people who have high vitamin D level rarely have any sort of bad effects from flu infections or other types.
right. And, sir, isn't it showing that cancer rates go way down from people getting moderate sun every day? Yeah, it's uh, with elevated vitamin D3 in the body, it's uh, about a 50% reduction in a, a number of cancers, particularly breast cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancer. Um, and it, it's for the same reason, because all of these things are produced for chronic inflammation, and vitamin D3 reduces inflammation. Now, vitamin D3 is the functional form of the vitamin. You can buy it as vitamin D3. But the recommendation now is by the health authorities is 2,000 units of vitamin D3 for everybody, even children, every day. And if you give it to your children, you'll find they rarely get infections and they get over their colds and flu. Well, I mean, this what goes back to, and again, I'm not a biologist or a brain surgeon like you, but just reading medical text, I can get the essence of it. But that's why they call the British limeys because their guys weren't collapsing on the deck 10,000 miles away from home because they carried little limes with them. That kept their collagen up because the vitamin C was needed with the vitamin D absorption somehow at a metabolic level. I don't quite understand that. But, but I mean, look, a lot of America has scurvy. We're not getting sunlight. We're not eating good food. We're eating a bunch of crud. Uh, I mean, in layman's terms, is that good advice, doctor? Yeah. You know, all of these vitamins interact. People don't generally, and a lot of nutritionists don't seem to understand that the vitamins uh, have interactions that benefit uh, the uh, functional ability of the vitamin. So you take vitamin D, you take vitamin E, you take carotenoids, the other B vitamins, and uh, selenium, uh, and uh, magnesium. All of these things drastically reduce autoimmune disorders. Uh, they uh, stimulate your, your healthy immunity to help you resist uh, Virus yeah. and bacteria. People that Let die me... of flu are generally immune suppressed. Normal, uh, healthy uh, people with good immune systems uh, rarely die or even get seriously ill from the flu. Uh, so when you see these teenagers, for instance, in the studies on this flu, 32% of the children that died had asthma, uh, which is an immune disorder. Uh, other ones have multiple illnesses, diabetes, uh, heart disease, other inflammatory immune diseases. Well, look at old folks who never get out and get sun. Well, and they also have difficulty converting the sunlight into vitamin D. So they need to take uh, the supplement. Uh, and, it, and it's been shown that until you get above at least 1,000 units of vitamin D3, your blood levels really don't rise. Uh, when you're in the sun for 30 minutes, you're getting about 10,000, 20,000 units of vitamin D3 manufactured. Man, I love it. I can have a headache, be tired, go out 30 minutes in the sun in my backyard, and it's like energized. I mean, you talk, it's like a million times better than a cup of coffee. Sure. Uh, we got to let the doctor go here in just a few minutes. Mike, I hope that answered your questions. Are they pushing vaccines on you when you go in to get medical care? He, he dropped off. I know they are pushing it now. Andrew in Toronto, Canada, you're on the air with Dr. Blaylock. Hello? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, make uh, a comment and uh, tell you about a, a new tool I've created for the InfoWar and ask a quick question. The question, uh, in light of all the, the denial, the huge level of denial everywhere um, and where we are at in terms of the timing of everything, um, I mean, there's a lot of people that when you, when you point them on to certain resources, they just they shut off when they hear about similarities. To not I hear you. I got to jump, though. I can't get into other subjects. I want to jam in some more calls. Dr. Blaylock, what do you do when you, even as an eminent brain surgeon, neurologist, you know, your work's all over the medical literature, trailblazing, you don't really toot your horn on so many fronts. I mean, I, I would imagine you run into people that are just doubting. What do you say to people that just want to take shots every year, you know, want to be unhealthy, want to drink aspartame? What do you do? Move on to folks you can warn? Well, that's it. You know, it's a free country, and if you want to do it, then... You just have to accept the consequences. I'll present you with the evidence if you want it. Uh, you can look at it. You can take it or leave it, and you'll you'll pay uh, for ignoring it. But that's the uh, the benefit of a free country, or one of the effects of a free country. You know, the government's the one that wants to force people to do things. But if you want to eat hamburgers and French fries every day, then uh, so be it. Uh, I've warned you. So when you have your heart attack or your stroke, then uh, uh, you can't say you weren't warned. Absolutely. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to uh, Jeremy in Texas. Jeremy, you're on the air. Yeah, uh, Dr. Lott, Mr. Jones, uh, everything in Obamacare, everything with having to do with the vaccines is an extreme danger to life or property. 
And I wonder your opinion. And, and every time that we try to wake up somebody, it, it will not make the news. What if uh, patriots across the United States begin flying the United States flag Union side down as a public display to try to wake people up? A lot of people are doing that. And then when neighbors ask why you're doing it, you can explain it's a country in distress. That's why we've had the poster contest that we're extending entries out till next Tuesday where people put up posters of political ideas and then videotape it. The contest is you got to videotape it and, and get that submission into us. Uh, and uh, it's having a great effect. Look, look what we did with the Obama Joker poster nationwide. That probably made it in conservatively that I've seen 60, 70, 80, and probably more newspapers uh, from Tokyo to Los Angeles 